everyone welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine destine if you're new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's goody we are back with a new weekly vlog video i literally i don't know i recently just posted a vlog probably like a week ago now or almost a week ago and it was a shorter one and you guys wasn't really i don't know y'all really love the the long vlog so i'm gonna try and give you guys a nice juicy long weekly vlog video this week i don't even really have like a ton of plans but i kind of want to just like do a bunch of stuff with you guys i don't know i also feel like i haven't really spent time with my youtube fam in a while like i've definitely been focusing on other things i've been trying to be really consistent on all of my platforms um and also staying consistent with the gym and honestly my love life has just been a little bit like all over the place these past couple weeks too like i've really been going through it so i did kind of take like a little mental break as well but i'm feeling a lot better i'm in a in, like a completely different headspace so yeah like life update wise like i'm good me and benson we're good you know like i've really been working you guys like i've really i've really been working so hard like i really haven't given myself even with me going through things and experiencing stuff and it trying to throw me off course it hasn't like work wise like i've still been at it i know you guys haven't seen me as much but i've just been trying to like really refocus and also figure out what it is that i want to give you like i know you guys love the vlogs for me um i know you love the diy content but i want to give you more and i want it to be stuff that you actually want to see so i've been asking my audience like on tiktok and on instagram like what would you guys want to see from me on youtube because i know a lot of you guys here follow me there as well but i also want to ask my youtube fam for the people that don't follow me on my other platforms what do you want to see from me like what do you want to see from me like what have i not done before that you like to see what have i done before that you want to see again like let's really talk about it in the comments like don't be shy leave a comment let me know like i love feedback i love getting constructive criticism when i feel like it's due as far as today today is saturday happy saturday i actually started my day off with a meeting around 10 a.m it started and it went really well it was a really good meeting fingers crossed like everything essentially goes the way that it's supposed to and like pans out in a positive way which i'm really hopeful and like honestly optimistic that it's going to um it'll be something that's really good for me like for me as an influencer but also just for me as a person like i feel like it'll be a lot of help um so yeah i'm really excited about that the meeting went great before the meeting i went and i grabbed starbucks finish my little starbucks drink my little pumpkin spice really hungry right now i haven't eaten yet and it's like one o'clock me and mona are gonna meet up and like run errands together essentially in downtown la i know i want to go to the flower district and get some flowers because i feel like i haven't had fresh flowers in a while and yeah i want to just buy myself flowers um might even get some eucalyptus for my shower i haven't decided yet but i think i'm gonna get it um i want to go to tarjay and what's today i think today's the last day of target circle I'm, if I'm not mistaken and I think everything was 30% off between like October something and the 7th and today's the 7th so I'm gonna go over to Target and see what stuff I can grab that essentially would be on sale I do have to re-up on some like house stuff yeah and then I'm probably gonna get lunch or something because again I haven't eaten so that's gonna be my day and I wanted to vlog it I just felt like picking up my camera and talking to you guys I also like literally just went on a little mini rant on TikTok that I then shared to Instagram and it was about a tweet that I tweeted that went viral <laughs> and that's my first viral tweet like I had a tweet do really well a couple of months ago it was like some trend of like post a celebrity that people always say you look like whatever that tweet did kind of good this tweet that I tweeted I literally got it has like a million impressions or a million views it has a million over a million views it has like 5,000 retweets 500 quotes like 20,000 likes or something like that like it's honestly and I'm I'm getting dragged by the men on Twitter the miserable men on Twitter like I'm getting dragged because I tweeted about what I want out of a man like and it was not even on no crazy shit honestly what I tweeted nah i need to talk about this so i posted a tweet on twitter like two days ago or whatever 
And it was basically like a little, I would honestly classify it as like a prayer for the type of man that I want. I'm going to put it up. Hold on. I said, I want an attentive man, a thoughtful man, a considerate man, a romantic man, a giving man, a loving man. Oh my God. A million views, 5,000 some retweets, 512 quotes. The men are in shambles. They're literally in my replies, in my comments, absolutely going berserk because I stated what I want out of a man. A lot of them have resorted to just calling me a hoe or that I just want money. It's really the bare minimum and they just have their panties in a bunch because they clearly can't provide that or do that and it it bothers them. It, it, it genuinely bothers them and it hurts them that they can't do this the bare minimum. They can't provide the bare minimum to women. And in return, women are choosing to stay single and not deal with them because of it. And then they get even more upset. So it's just like, you can't win. You literally can't win. Like as a woman in today's day and age, you cannot win. Cause if you, if you don't want to deal with it, you're, you're choosing to stay single. You're, you're choosing to be independent. You're too masculine. You, you act like you don't need a man and men don't like that. But then it's like if you just if you tell them or you express what it is that you desire out of them and it's not even materialistic things or physical attributes, you're asking for too much. So it's just like, what do you want out of us? Nothing. You want to be with your bros. You want to date your bro. That's really what you want. You like men. And that's OK. Just say that we're we don't judge over here. I am an LGBTQ plus ally if you want to be with your bros go be with your bros but don't get mad at me because of what i want <laughs> don't get mad at me for my standards that i have like what bruh i was just like i'm gonna mute this tweet and just like go about my day because honestly if if ever the opportunity was ever given and it would never ever be given to any of you men on twitter but if it was ever given that you could be in my presence lick the crust between my toes or eat barbecue sauce out of my booty crack you would do it in a heartbeat and i know that so what are we really talking about here you're just mad because it would never be you so that's really what it is um that's how my days are going <laughs> but other than that i mean i did my wash and go routine yesterday i filmed like a little reel and i'm gonna post it on monday because i'm I'm really like on top of my ish. I'm gonna post it on TikTok and I'm gonna post it on Instagram. I'm trying to like differentiate my content for like those two platforms because I don't want to just keep posting the same things. But I'm posting more on TikTok this month. I'm posting every single day on TikTok and I'm doing good so far. I'm like four or five days in. I think I'm on day four. I just gotta keep this momentum. Like it really shouldn't be much for me to post a TikTok every day, even if it's only like. 15 seconds 30 seconds whatever but yeah your girl's giving you content content my hair is growing down my back it's giving so yeah let's um let's get to it because my stomach is crowding okay hey guys look who i'm with it's mana hey y'all wait wait which way are we going this way who was thing yeah she just picked up a smoothie from movita juice bar i haven't had any of their smoothies yet but it looks good we're running errands today and we're catching up on tea shout out to julius for sponsoring sponsoring today's tea it's shout out to her brother for the tea she said i have never gotten so much tea before in my life you like it yeah it tastes good it's papaya it has nuts in it. Almonds. I can taste it. Yeah, so we're gonna go to Sephora. We're gonna go to Target, and maybe the Flower District. But it's mad hot outside. I'm not even and gonna it lie. Moves at three. Oh, yeah. So we might not even make it over there, to be honest. I forgot about that. It's been so long since I went there. I don't know. Maybe I'll just get like flowers from somewhere else. I just want to like I'll some go flowers. Tomorrow. I was gonna go. Sunday morning. Oh, uh, maybe we'll go tomorrow then. Ciao. Like but yeah, I'm gonna put my camera away. But that's a little update. We just got to Sephora. Hi, 
They have the new smooth blur and smooth Fenty stick and I've been seeing such rave reviews about this. I want to try it. So. I completely forgot that I was vlogging but I got this lip gloss. I already went and I checked out and I bought it because I was fiending. And then I went and I looked in the Target Circle app. I got that new Maybelline lip gloss. Oh, it says lifter gloss. Yeah, it tingles a little bit. And I got the shade Ice. Ice 2. And it's basically like clear. It looks so cute. And I was just like, yeah, it was $10.99. Your nails. Yeah, it is. Literally. Um, so yeah, I went and I got that. And now we're looking at candles. Because candles are 20% off and it ends today. This red mandarin and guava smells so freaking good. That's what I'm saying. <sighs> this one smells so good. Like, I'm literally gonna get, I'm gonna get one of these. And I really like tobacco and bergamot too. You guys know I love a good unisex scent. It's really Mona Sipa's for you. Like, get into the body, the, the movement of it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna pick out a candle. I'm gonna pick out two. I actually came here for candles and I completely forgot I got distracted by the lip gloss. And then, yeah. No, I have oil and stuff. And I've been just using oil, which is why I'm shiny. Um, but we're gonna get food after this, right? Or you ate already? You wasn't gonna eat? I'm scared. I don't know who that is and it's Jervessa me. My sister is back. Back like she never left. <laughs> In Target is mad funny. You know that? Girl, who is this? Oh, it's my mama. <laughs> hey, girl. My phone is ringing. My phone is ringing. Hey, I'm at Target right now. No, it was buzzing. It's 222. Two, two. Look. 222. Two, two. Okay, I'm glad it wasn't a fan. That would have stressed me out. Yeah, no. I'm vibing right now. We not doing that. And are vibing, so you're not trying to keep these good vibes going? What do you say we keep these good vibes going, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. My nigga just sent me money. I'm trying to go to lunch. Girl. <laughs> it's us walking onto a whole production set for Lexus car. It's a whole drone. Set it one. It's a drone in the sky and it's getting. Thank you. Watch this light first. That is so cool. Ciao. Me and Mono came to get food. To get lunch. Somebody just, I don't know what that was. But yeah, we've been running errands all day. And we've worked out quite the appetite. I already have like 7,500 steps in. Just like really good. It's like Asian style food. And it's just super yummy. Like literally, I'm obsessed with it. It's a little indoor, outdoor vibe. And I love Asian food. You guys know how I feel about Asian food. I'm going to put exactly what it is on the screen because I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember which one. But it's like a peanut sauce. I think it might be Thai. I don't know. It's the what? It's the way you hide. It's the way you hide. This is the Dan Dan noodle. It's like a peanut sauce. Um... And I be putting chili oil in it. Look at this top of cucumber. Wow, that looks good. Fried chicken. This is the popcorn chicken. And this is the which one? Shang Shang Guao Mai. Shang Guao. Shout out to Mickey. I know I said that so long. They look so good. You guys, I'm getting ready to go out. 
I just spent like an hour and a half picking my outfit. I changed like four billion times. I'm about to just do really light makeup. Ooh, I got that shit on. Ooh. Is my new nigga flirt better? No, it's not snowing. Using this pink powder from Huda. So I did the Huda loose setting powder first in cupcake. And then I take the pressed powder in cherry blossom cake on top. I really love this wand. We on top of me. We on top of it. A little brown mascara. I just need to set my face and I'm running out of setting spray. Oh my god, I didn't even know I got this in PR. But it's the one size beauty on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. I'm gonna try it. It literally feels like I'm spraying myself with hairspray. I don't know, but this is making my nose stuffy now. I don't know if maybe I'm allergic to something and I don't know. This gloss that I got today, the um Maybelline one, she's bomb. Y'all know I love a good clear gloss and lip liner moment. And I'm trying not to get it dirty, but this is so freaking pretty. And that's my makeup. I don't really do highlight anymore. I picked my hair out. I'm about to go finish my TikTok I was filming two days ago, but this is like th day three hair. And this is my favorite day of my wash and go. Like my hair just be looking so good on day three. It's still defined, but it has more volume. And I just picked it out. I already have my outfit on. I'm about to show you guys in a second. And I, I actually got a bunch of new stuff in the mail today. I didn't even show you. Like, I'm, I'm honestly doing so bad. Oh, let's do perfume. And I'm actually really obsessed with her. This is the um, Alien. But this is um, Mugler Alien Goddess. This smells so freaking good. It smells so yummy. It's like... Mmm, it's like rosy and I'm getting a little like some other floral scents, but it's also like soft and it's sweet. It definitely has like a sweet. This smells so good. Oh, like douse myself in it. It smells so freaking bomb. I wore it yesterday. I was literally obsessed. But yeah, this is the completed makeup in here. I'm going to go finish my TikTok and then show you guys my outfit my new like boots and everything like i'm so freaking excited but that was a calm little 15 minute face like literally the clip that i recorded of me doing my makeup was 14 minutes and then i stopped it okay so if you guys have been on tiktok recently there's been these zara like shark boot dupes that everybody's been talking about and then i believe steve madden dropped a very similar pair and then also macy's dropped a very similar pair like the same boot essentially and i got it off of macy's it literally came in two days um these look so freaking good i literally like i can't wait to wear them like they came today like earlier today and i was like if i go out later this is the shoe that i'm gonna wear and i actually also got two other pairs of shoes i got like a whole order from miss lola which is that's what's back there but i got the boots right here hold on i'm about to go yo they look so good on like i literally look at them these are so fire I love how structured they are because I have another pair for Pretty Little Thing that's also supposed to be like a dupe for the Givenchy Shark boots. But those like, they're baggier, like they're not as structured and kind of like stiff like these. Like 
these just i feel like because they're so structured it makes them look more high fashion than they actually are i think they're the macy's brand or like inc inc yeah international concepts i got them in my size 10 and they were on sale on the macy's website so i think they were originally 120 dollars they had them on sale on Macy's.com for $88. I'm going to have the link down below. Hopefully, they'll still be on sale by the time this video goes up. But look. Look at that skinny heel. It's a four-inch It's a four inch heel. She's hot, though. These are so hot. Like, I was like, I literally have to wear them. So, I have on this, like, black, this black tank top from miss lola then i have on this skirt from zara and i did like i sewed myself into it because it's like i lost so much weight it was so big like it was literally like mad extra so i folded it into itself and i like sewed a little makeshift i need to get it tailored because it's obviously too big now it's still pretty baggy like i could get i could have way more taken off but um yeah, I'm wearing this skirt from Zara. I ironed it, but it also it already like kind of looks wrinkly, so I'm just like whatever. I need y'all to like really see this though. They also have a wide calf version available. This is the regular calf, and I have more than enough rooms. So I don't really have like big calves, so but they do have a wide calf version. Are these not hot AF? These are I like I literally don't care that they're a dupe or they're trying like i don't even think it's trying to be a dupe i feel like the other ones i have the silver ones i have those are like trying to be a dupe because it has like the little the little lock situation on the side here and like the little band that goes around these are not trying to be a dupe but it's just more so the same style as a as a shark boot like that barrel kind of you know they came in two days Aren't these mad freaking cute? And I wasn't gonna wear a jacket, but it's fake a little chilly out, so I think I'm gonna throw this Zara jacket on. Is this not an eat? Like, this is such an eat. Happy Sunday, it is Sunday. Literally, I just finished walking. I walked all over downtown, but I just picked up, well, firstly, I'm at Mona's house. Mona's in the back over there. Mira's here. Hey, y'all. You guys haven't hey, seen Mira in like I'm ages. in LA. She moved back to LA. We're just having a girl's day, you know, a girl's yeah, yeah. Sunday. Mona just poured me some rose, even though I went out last night and got so wasted that I woke up this morning and I was still drunk and I didn't get out of bed until three, so. But anyway, I had to replenish my insides with some food, so I went and I got a salad from Sweet Green, literally the only salad I get there. Um, the chicken pesto parm bowl. And I kind of started eating it already a little, but so good. Got that, I got some rosemary focaccia. Went to Dunkin' and I got a mango pineapple refresher. And the guy gave me 10 free um, pumpkin spice don't, munchkin donuts or whatever. And then we have our cute little soda. Look how cute. Watermelon, the munchkin, we got berries, we got wine. So yeah, we're just about to hang out but i just want to check in with you guys i'm i'm operating on 20 percent right now <laughs> these, these, these girls are something else <laughs> they was just dancing and singing walking down the street <laughs> just doing just doing anything we're outside. Um, this is so yeah. press. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we walked over to Zinc in a DTLA. Um, I've been here a couple times before, and they have a location in West Hollywood too. That's really nice. Um, I already ate, as you guys saw earlier, so I think I'm just gonna do a glass of wine. 
and I'm thinking red. We didn't even know what life was was coming. This is the La what Safranese. La Safranese. Yes. I'm a region, babe. And I got an espresso martini. What are we chosen to? Prosperity. Prosperity. Yes. And protection. This is Cheers. a beautiful arrangement of cocktails. It really is. Fries. Bruxelles. And a glamis or mussels. Mussels. Okay. You guys about to eat good. Good morning. Good morning, vloggy vlog. I literally just got back from Benson already got his pup cup, but he's in my face. In my face right now. Happy with no, it's Tuesday. It's definitely Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I didn't vlog yesterday. I was super busy and I was really overwhelmed with a lot of stuff, but I still got like things done. And then as soon as I was done with my work day, I literally like took a nap. I'm going to the gym today. I want to do laundry. I've already been emailing and I'm probably going to go to the supermarket. Like I kind of have errands to run. I got a really fun text message yesterday for plans on Saturday that I'm really excited about. So you guys are going to see that. And I have some other stuff planned for later this week so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the weekly vlog so far i'm really trying to give y'all more my tweet is still getting so many likes um and the tiktok that i posted talking about my tweet my viral tweet has almost like a hundred thousand views now on tiktok and i'm gaining tiktok followers one two three four five six yeah and today will be day seven officially once i post today's tiktok i will officially have posted for seven days straight on tiktok every single day and that's a lot for me like i literally i don't i've never been that consistent with tiktok i'm thinking every single day like i'm jotting down little ideas for little tiktoks that i want to do and honestly i'm not gonna lie i feel like the less effort I put into making a TikTok, the better it performs. Like the ones that I spend like maybe like an hour or two hours editing, making sure that it's like super bomb, you know, it might be a little bit longer. It might be like a minute or a minute and a half, 2000 views. Little like 15 seconds, seven second little silly TikToks that I post will legit do like way, like they'll do numbers. And I'm just like, that's so crazy. So like, I also need to like, not just not overthink it, like just, post and go <laughs> so that's why i'm trying to that's the mindset i'm trying to like get into if you're trying to grow overnight that's the platform because literally i know y'all know prayag i think that's how you say his name prayag i think his name is prayag the um the guy from toronto and he's like it's the way you act ah, ah, ah. literally i came across his video when he had like twenty thousand followers he went from twenty thousand to a hundred thousand in like two days then he went from a hundred thousand followers on tiktok to 1.1 million in exactly 13 days and i'm just like that's crazy like that's the power that tiktok has right now that would never happen on instagram right now in today's world that would never happen on instagram people i don't know what it is like instagram has just become like a lot of people just looking at stuff and like absorbing things and just scrolling like and just endlessly scrolling or swiping through stories but no one interacts with anything like they're not gonna be inclined to even follow you if they see something that they like actually liked or they laughed at or whatever like they're just gonna look at it and then keep scrolling but TikTok, you actually have people that are using the app and if they want to see you again, they're going to follow you. So yeah, like shout out to him because that was crazy. I literally like, I watched it happen. Like every single day I would go on TikTok because I've been posting. I would go and I would come across his videos like on my For You page. I'm like, dang, let me go check his page. 100K, 250K, 330K, 400K, 500 I'm like, dang, he's growing at the speed of light. <laughs> That doesn't happen anymore on the other platforms. Back to what I was saying. You guys know I'm a DIY girly. You know I love self-care. So I actually bought a gua sha. Gua sha? I think that's how you say it. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bigger. I'm not going to lie. But this one is for the face. And I liked that it had the curve here and then the curve here. So you guys know you can use it to like 
do this and do this and i want to try it like i'm trying to be snatched and i saw somebody using this for their stomach and i'm like low-key i think i could use this on my stomach too to kind of do um i want to start doing we use the wood like wood paneling like the um, lymphatic massages i want to try that because i feel like i've lost 20 pounds as you guys know but i still feel like i have some like kind of like stubborn fat in areas like my stomach specifically and my back where i'm just like maybe i need to literally like help release the fluids that are kind of like holding being held there because like lymphatic drainage is massaging like the fluid that's I don't know if it's under or in your muscles. I don't know the exact. I'm going to do more research on it before like I really talk about it. But I want to do more research on it. I want to try it for a little bit and then I want to talk about it. But I'm thinking about starting to do that as well on myself. But I wanted to start with this first. Um, so I got me one of these and it was like super cheap on Amazon. Like literally I think it was like 6 or $7. I'm 100,000% a gym rat now. I'm a gym girly. I love wearing workout clothes. So I've been seeing the girlies wear this brand on TikTok, Arola, which is on Amazon. And oh, I didn't realize that this would come padded, but I got this really cute jump, like jumper one piece set. The back is out. <laughs> I'm so excited about this, I'm not gonna lie. And it got the scrunch booty. But I'm gonna put this on and go to the gym. And I know the body's gonna be giving. And it has compression in the middle, like all the way around, so to the back as well. So that's how you know it's gonna snatch in the waist, but then it's not loose, but it's not compression on the butt. So it allows you to snatch in the waist and then, you know, smooths down. And then you got the cinch down the crack. Ooh! With the low back this is about to eat i'm not gonna lie it's about to eat and then the last two things i want to show you are pr so stuff i didn't buy but yo girl i don't know like god really be blessing me because i've gotten on the pr list for a lot of fragrance brands and they're the really nice ones and i'm very thankful because you know, I can't afford to be buying, not right now at least, I can't afford to be buying like a new fragrance every time it comes out or even just have, I have a, a great selection so far because of PR, but like it's just really nice that I'm getting the really nice stuff for free. <laughs> like I'm just like, wow, like I didn't even know I was on YSL's PR for fragrance like i know i've gotten ysl beauty stuff like um makeup but i did it i was actually really surprised when this came in the mail so it's their um newest scent look at that this is um libre is their newest scent the most luxurious intense of libre Ooh. It's definitely a floral scent. It's very light. I want to say like white lilies or like tulips or something. I like her. I feel like she'll layer nicely with some other stuff as well. Because you guys know I love to layer now. Your girl got another. I already got one fragrance from Mugler. I've had, what's crazy is I've had another scents from the Mugler alien goddess line on my like want list and then they sent me this one which is their newest one and this one smells so good i literally wore this out the other night and i got so many compliments it's it's like it's sweet it's warm it's vanilla y uh, it's like it's sultry like it was really 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 nice and i like the way it warmed up on my skin after i was wearing it for a little while and then i got another in the mail and i was like what is this it really beat a bag though like the move there on a bag so then yeah i went and i was like what is this and they sent me another one uh, but this is their angel elixir and i literally haven't even opened it yet rechargeable refillable star okay and now we can open it because i literally i don't even know what this one smells like i've seen this before I've definitely seen this before. We're opening her together. <gasps> oh! oh, wait, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is actually so cool. 
what does rechargeable mean and their packaging is like so cool because this is a little part that it sprays out of and the button is back here it says Mugler on the side there we go now y'all can really see mmm this is different I like it it's different I don't think I have anything in my collection honestly that smells like this this is so nice wait I want to know what the notes are one of the best compliments you can get aside from like looking good is smelling good like literally like that's my favorite compliment like when people hug me they're like oh my gosh hug me and then they're like girl you smell good oh you smell good I just be like yes thank you like I, I love that for me finished cooking this Hello Fresh meal. It looks so good. So it's like a, what is it called? Hold on. This is what it looks like. I didn't do the gravy because I actually made it, but I felt like it tasted weird. So I didn't want to put it on there. But I think it looks pretty, pretty similar if you ask me. That's dinner. Little uh, parmesan crusted zucchini some couscous and chicken you guys i literally haven't talked to you all day happy wednesday i was filming all day i was filming a what i eat in a day video today so that's why i didn't vlog because i was vlogging all day for that video now that i'm done i'm actually getting ready for an event right now um i just finished doing my hair i filmed a little reel slash tiktok for this hairstyle i just got dressed and now i'm about to do some light makeup i don't want to do too much i'm gonna try and do my face in like 15 minutes like i'm really not trying to do a lot I know y'all want to see my outfit. These are my 
my favorite jeans that I thrifted. This is a Rick Owens top. And then the shoes I'm gonna wear are these little Miss Lola diesel dupes. <laughs> ah! Creed, Carmina, it smells so good. My silver bag. Most of these hoes don't want to be saved. All villains wear grin. A purr! <laughs> you guys, I'm at the event. I kind of got here kind of late, and it's smaller than I expected, but it's actually really cute. Like, this pink light. I just ordered a drink. I got like a ginger passion fruit drink. I'm vlogging. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 Home? No, after. Oh, you know where you <laughs> You guys, happy Thursday. It is Thursday. Me and Bay are doing some shopping. He needs some things that he's getting himself. Yeah, we're in Nordstrom Rack right now. And I think he needs to get some Calvin Klein underwear. Um, some workout clothes. Then we're gonna go to Sephora because I need some skincare stuff that he used up. I don't know why it's not focusing on me. And we're gonna go to Target because there's some stuff from Target that I want. <laughs> so yeah. Got my little Savage Xfenty jumpsuit on. You know you gotta look cute when you run an errand. Especially if you with your man. If you with your boo. Where did he go? They got Uggs in here for $44. $45. And Norsham Rack. These are actually, these are like the girl ones, but they're not platform. He want my opinion so bad. Those look like the Kanye socks. Or the, no, the Travis Scott. The um. breakfast dance socks. Should I put these? They're $12.97. Yeah, why not? You need socks. You can never have too many socks. You can stop wearing mine. You like wearing my socks and stretching them out. You like those colors? Yeah. Nobody ever sees your socks because you're always wearing boots. So does the color matter? I just, yeah, it does to me. I like these types of colors. Mm. Okay. We're at Sephora. It's this one. That's where it belongs. This. Serum is so good for hyperpigmentation, dark spots, all of that stuff. And it just like, honestly makes my skin really glowy when I apply it. I really like it. That one. This toner from Pharmacy. I'm getting this bronzer because I just broke my Charlotte Tilbury one. And I think I'm going to do this. It's Laguna number four. Yeah, this looks like a good bronzer shade. Like, that's it on my arm. So, yeah, I'm gonna get this. I want more, but. Chad, let me know. OD. He just gave me mad money. Love him down. What is this? Lip blush. 
That's a pretty blush. Oh my gosh. This Armani blush is so pretty. Look at how pink it is. Jade is always wearing this Ellis Brooklyn fragrance. And I remember it smelling really good on her, so I'm spraying it. It's very fresh. It's called Sun Fruit. It literally does smell like fruity and summery. Thank you. Thank you. I like being treated like a princess. A pretty, pretty princess. Hello, vloggy vlog. Happy Friday. It is Friday. We're almost at the end of this week's weekly vlog i can't believe it um i think the last time you guys saw me yesterday i was like running errands and shopping and stuff but that was pretty much it i didn't really do anything else yesterday so today is friday happy friday it's friday the 13th literally and i'm just like oh my timer just went off yeah it's friday the 13th and we got a couple things going on today okay first things first I think this is the probably one of the bigger things is I'm actually I don't think I've talked to you guys yet about this on YouTube like I've definitely talked about it like strictly on well mostly on Instagram and also on TikTok but I have forgot to kind of tell my YouTube fam I'm not gonna lie I'm sorry like <laughs> um but you guys I'm hosting my very first trip um, this is going to be an international trip where I'm the host and I have a bunch of people attending and we're going somewhere beautiful. The place is actually already picked. We're going to Costa Rica and this is happening next year in July of 2024. Um, and basically the trip launch date with like all the details, the itinerary, everything launches today at 1230, which is like in 15 minutes, 1230 p.m. PST, 330 p.m. EST. Um yeah and i've been talking about it for like probably the last three to four weeks now um something i'm really excited about this is my first time doing this you guys know i love to travel i absolutely love vlogging when i travel you guys love my travel content um and when i was basically brought with this opportunity from trova trip to host my very own trip i was like a little nervous because i didn't know how it was gonna work or what it would entail but they basically ended up like breaking it down for me it's it's gonna be something that's really fun it's really great for everyone i feel like it's also kind of like i'm not gonna say it's not expensive but it's not like a ridiculously like cheap amount you know like it's a good median like you're gonna get a lot of things for what you spend on the trip the total cost of the trip um the only thing that's not included is your flight and that's obviously because depending on where you are in the world your flight cost is going to vary so it's like there's no way to really factor that into where it's the same amount for everyone so you do have to get your own flight but the cost of the trip itself um by the time this goes up it'll already be live so i can talk about it but the early bird special is 24.50 and that covers six days five nights in costa rica we're staying at two different hotels one hotel is like in the jungle it's so pretty it's like really like rainforesty we're gonna do a um a hike like in the mountains and uh we have an option of doing zip lining as well and then the second hotel we're gonna stay at is like a resort on the beach gorgeous like so pretty i'm actually so excited to stay in that one too because it just has like a completely different vibe from the first hotel um we're gonna do a catamaran sunset boat tour and we have the option of doing surf lessons on the beach which i'm definitely going to be doing i mean you don't have to do it it's optional but you can add it on and i'm, I'm definitely going to do that because i've literally always said like i wanted to do surfing like i want to try surfing i've never tried it before in my life the closest thing i've gotten to like surfing which is not even surfing was i had a boogie board when i was like 12 so yeah i want to go try and learn how to surf while i'm in costa rica i feel like that's going to be like such a cool experience to have um, and then aside from all of that like all of your meals there's like breakfast is included every single day there's one lunch and then two dinners with me um, that are also included and airport transfers to and from the airport so yeah it's gonna be such an amazing trip I'm so excited we're going in July the dates are like July 9th to the 14th six days five nights I feel like it's a perfect amount of time um, early bird special is 24 50 
and then that's for the first eight people that sign up and then after that it goes up to 25.50 so a hundred dollars up and there's a total of 20 spots on the trip so once the 20 are filled that's it there's no more some people had like i had gotten actually a couple of dms from people thinking that i was going to be choosing who went on the trip but it's not like that it's literally first come first serve so once like all the spots are filled that's just what it is like i can't you know pick who gets to go it's basically who comes and puts their deposit down and secures their spot so in order to secure your spot it's 25 percent down of the trip cost that secures your spot and then after that you can choose to do monthly payments with like a firm um, or any other payment plans that they have available um, so you can do it that way but the total cost of the trip is due at 90 days before we go on the trip so three months before we leave for costa rica is when the final payment is due in full so you can do month to month payments up until then or you know you can pay it however you want to pay it really there's options on there but yeah i'm super excited the vlog i'm, I'm obviously going to be vlogging the vlog is going to be insane like it's going to be my first like huge trip that i go on um with a bunch of my subscribers followers like you know loyal supporters so i'm like really excited about that i have no idea what that's gonna look like but it's gonna be really really fun and interesting and shanice already told me she's gonna be coming so you know me and her are like this when it comes to traveling so i'm definitely gonna make sure she's there with me um and yeah i'm really excited uh, ah! so yeah that is basically what i'm gonna be going on instagram live now and talking about again because i've done this a couple of times but i have to keep you know sharing the information and talking about it so they you guys know because every time i go live I, I feel like i get a different group of my following like depending on what day and what time i go live like i get different different people in my lives so i'm gonna go on instagram live right now and talk about my trip and then you know it goes live like it actually will be available and launch on the site and everything you know with my pictures up that i set up my little launch page in about 15 minutes so yeah i'm really excited that's what's happening today and then i'm gonna go to the gym later um and i might go out later but i'm not sure it is friday though and it's friday the 13th and there's honestly a bunch of things going on so maybe but um we'll see and then aside from that i don't think i have any other like major stuff i have some emailing to do but yeah that is gonna be my friday the skin is skinning if i do say so myself i need to give y'all skincare routine oh i have to post on tiktok i was literally up at like 5 a.m this morning i woke up i didn't go back to sleep but i edited a tiktok and i need to post it because it's actually on this hairstyle that i've been wearing that i get so many questions about how do i do it so i posted it i filmed a little tiktok yeah that's all i'm gonna show you because you know i'm not trying to get copyrighted but i'm about to post this it's already ready to go i love when i like pre-schedule my tiktoks so that the caption is already there the hashtag is already there and i just have it drafted so i could just go in and literally click post and just go about my day because then that's how i stay consistent with it um i've been posting every single day on tiktok for the month of october i missed like three days but like i i'm not doing too bad you know that's a lot for me because like that's a big word for Elmo because I don't be posting on TikTok every single day, nor do, I don't even be posting probably like twice a week, but I've literally posted every single day except for like three days because I started late. But yeah, your girl's trying to be more consistent on my TikTok page on TikTok because everyone's just growing at an exponential rate on TikTok and I'm like, I want to grow too what do i need to do you guys it's later in the day i went to the gym earlier came back and it was kind of late i went around like 3 30 and i finished around like 5 36 and now i'm headed out it's friday friday the 13th i don't know what i'm gonna get into but i'm gonna get into something chat um i just have like a calm little fit on i just got on a calm little fit these black um leather trousers are from pretty little thing i actually really love these they're like a 
low rise fit they're so comfy and they're like wide leg and then i have on my sneakers my jordans this top is rick owens and i just have it tied in a little knot it's a little see-through so um but yeah rick top and then this jacket is also a pretty little thing mona just called me and she was like because i'm planning to go over there first and she was like, are you still coming? And I was like, yeah. She was like, girl, I'm so hungry. And I was like, girl, me too. My stomach is literally like eating itself right now. And she was like, do you want to go? And I was like, yeah, I want to go. And we didn't even have to say, we don't, it's gotten to the point where like, we literally don't have to say the name of the place. Like we both know that when we say like, do you want to go? We're talking about one place and one place only. And it's literally the place that we're obsessed with. And yeah, it's literally right in downtown. It's walking distance. We. We've gone probably like two to three times a week for like the last month since we discovered it. Kind of like kind of sick the way we were obsessed with it, but it's so good. And then Mira's gonna meet us over there. So I'm about to go get food. I'm bringing you guys with me. Lego. We're at our favorite spot. Not telling you the name of it though. Gatekeep, 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 gatekeep. Sorry, some things just have to be kept a secret. Stumble upon it yourself. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Sorry. You can't even show the food. No. <laughs> I, no, actually, I've already shown the food. But they're not gonna know. It would be hating. <laughs> she said nothing. It was another place. Oh, the, the, the wine bar we go to. Oh, yeah, gatekeep, gatekeep. Yeah. Where else? A couple places to be honest. We will never know. It was us when we was at the same vlog when we was at Elliot's and he was trying to get us to exchange information. He was gonna tell us a spot and we were supposed to tell him. And then he walked away and we were like, let's tell him a different place. No, because yeah. Ooh. So yeah. Bok choy. Um, no. My food came. Yeah. Bok choy. Been there, done that. We're at Top Golf. Y'all ready to golf, guys? I was charging it. Why are we doing shots? Oh my god. We outside though. We outside. Never got no one that back calling me splurge. Let me jump right out the curve. Make this right fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Crack up the foreign, I swear. Keep me a stick if they purge. Guys, happy Saturday! It's the last day of the weekly vlog. Um, me and Bay are headed to get food right now, and it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I'm going to a concert later. It's supposed to be really loud. And I got on a cute little. going to get food right now I'm in the mood for sushi I don't know you know when you just want something filling but like not too heavy I feel like that's what sushi is it's like fish and veggies and a little rice but it fills you up we just got to Katsuya it's like early out. Of course they're not open yet. It's 420 and they open at 5. 
don't know, but it gave snacks. So, Hatsuya was at five, so we made a reservation for five, and then we came and sat at Tom's Watch Bar, and we're getting a drink while we wait on an empty stomach. My lavender lemon drop looks so pretty. So pretty. We're at our dinner reservation at Katsuya. I'm one lemon drop in already. Baby wanted to sit outside too, so we're sitting outside. I've actually never sat outside, I always sit inside. What Nikki said, and nobody gonna eat bone apple tea. Bone apple tea. I always say bone apple tea because of Twitter, but that is a skin. Thank you. So we got my corn crunch roll. I already ate one. Wagyu goyoza. Veggie fried rice. And which one did you get? Oh, shrimp. No. The rock shrimp. Rock shrimp tempura. You guys. I got ready. I'm going out. Going to the Atacunle Gold concert with Cindy and with Bola. Cindy literally texted me like a couple of days ago and she was like, girl, do you want to go to the Atacunle concert with me? And I was like, period. Yes, I do. <laughs> I definitely do. <laughs> so I literally just got dressed. I got like all cute. Fluffed my hair out. I had to pick it out. I'm low-key debating on if I should bring my pick because I feel like I'm gonna... Yeah, I just have on this... Oh my gosh. I have on this cute top from uh, Miss Lola. It's like a full tank, but I folded it so that it's cropped. I have on this skirt from Zara. These boots. Dang, what is going on outside? The makeup won't eat. Bon Appetit. I've been wanting a pair of black boots for like a minute now, and I'm so, so happy I got these. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this jacket. I think I'm gonna wear this jacket from Zara. So yeah, I'm gonna vlog. I'll see you guys there. Hey, shots. We're let's doing do like shots. three. Huh? Yeah. Oh, shit. Look let's do like three, No, let's do two. Because okay, let's shoot. do like three. <laughs> Say hi to my vlog, you guys. Hey. No quarrels. Cheers, ladies. Cheers.